All right, folks, I'm back again, and today we're going to be talking about the uh, Nikkor 500mm Nikon reflex lens. It's an f8 aperture. There are pros and cons to these um, lenses. Um, one, it's uh, the thing I find most difficult about these lenses is um, you can't stop them down. You can't stop them down to you know f16 or f32 so that you can you know you can get the entire background to be sharp in focus and then at the same time you can't um, open it up to like f2.8 so you can get a real real sharp image on let's say one particular um, bird okay but um, what you see right here is um, a, it's attached to the Nikon D300 this is just a normal D300 and I set it up in LV live view so that seagull has just made my day because it just sat on the, on the chimney and he's looking you know he's looking around it's funny I, every time I point this lens the birds disappear and um, you know what I mean when I go in then they come back again it's I, it's, I think they they like playing games anyway um, how I sharpen this is um, to get the best out of this um, a reflex lens a mirror lens what I do is I I set it up in LV okay and then when it's set in LV I get as close as possible I find something like a brick or a corner or something oop that's that's not good that's a that's a different brick I think <laughs> okay uh, you see and this is this is always the problem there we go there we go it's so sensitive that's the thing with when you're dealing with 500 millimeter it's super super sensitive okay and uh, can't see it from this side let me come on this side oh that's it bang everything these are so, so touch sensitive that the slightest movement, it gets it, it makes it furry. It blurs it, okay? So now I'm zooming in and I'm looking at something that I can get an edge to. You see? That brick. You know, somebody doesn't know this, but the chimney's falling apart. And, uh, okay, and you can see that, right? I hope you can. Now that's how I get it super sharp. And this is what you have to do to get it sharp. Because when you try to photograph it, you know, with your eye, your eye may not be sharp enough. And if your eye is not sharp enough, the focal plane or where the CCD sensor is might not be exact. So now I take it out of magnification and and there you are. I'm, I lost my seagull, but that's that's part of the fun. Okay, I'm gonna lock this in this place. And now I know that this chimney is extremely sharp. It's a very sharp image. And now I can take it out of live view, and I could put it in something like timer. Okay, and I can now photograph that. Now, the reason why I put it on timer is so that we don't have um, any vibration from my hand. Sometimes, sometimes it's actually better to use it by hand. But, like I said, these are so, so touch sensitive that... And anyway, there's the image. And, uh, and I know that this is as sharp as I'm going to get it. Okay? I've used live view, I used timer, I used a D300, and uh, I took a picture using the caddy optic lens. And now I'm going to show you what that looks like. I'm going to open this up. And to understand how far that chimney is, I'm going to zoom out. Okay. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to show you where that, where that is actually. There it is in the background. Do you see it in the background? I don't know if I can. Let me zoom in. There it is up there. There's that. Um, let me loosen this up. Because you won't know where that is. There it is. That's the one I was taking. I was taking a picture of that chimney right there. 
and you just cannot believe the power of this lens okay but it is what it is okay folks and I mean if you're looking for something like videoing um, birds I mean this is this is this will be awesome you know what I mean um, yeah this would really be I mean, kind of brighten that up so you can see that there it is okay that's the mirror lens, secondary, primary. It's a reflex lens because what it does is that the light comes in and bounces off one mirror. Primary mirror comes in, hits the secondary mirror, and then back through the lens itself and into the camera and into the sensor. So anyway, guys, that's what it looks like. It's Easter Sunday, and yes, I am working. <laughs> yeah. What well, not better day? It's a beautiful, it's a glorious day here in England. Glorious day, sunshine. You know, mind you, I don't know what that means for other countries, but I know it's beautiful here. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna let it go there. I wish you all the best. Happy Easter to you guys. And you take care of yourself, and we'll see you next time, okay? Alright, guys. Alright. Bye.